Okay, let's do the mechanism for this one. Um, the electrophilic addition of um, bromine to um, styrene here. Um, so you can see, you just make the dibromide. Here we've got a star because we're going to make a stereo center there. Um, so it would be, of course, you can also write it like this plus an antimer, of course, right? Um, so let's just go ahead and uh, add VR2 to this thing. So, remember the Lewis structure for VR2? Okay, so um, you've got the double bond here and um, BR2, so you're going to have this electrophilic addition. So um, remember, well, the uh, double bond here essentially is the nucleophile. So it's going to attack that BR there, and that's going to make that BR BR bond break. And then, of course, um, this is a, a three arrow mechanism. So, this, as this developing char positive charge here um, develops, that BR is so big that it just attacks that double bond from the other side as well. So, um, we've now brominated styrene. So um, you can draw it either way, back or forward. So, okay. So, and notice I'm putting that wedge on the one, but not on the other, because of course you've got the two hydrogens here. All right, so that's not a stereocenter. You've also got the bromine. Uh, the bromide ion still. I'm glad somebody else came. It gives me somebody to talk to. Um, somebody else to talk to, at least. Uh, and then, of course, um, there's this positive charge that is on this bromine. So you can imagine uh, there's going to be um, Either, both of these carbons are going to have this developing positive charge because of the uh, non-bonding resonance form. And so what's going to happen here is this bromine here is going to attack that, um, well, developing carbocation or the carbon, carbon bromine bond or the carbon with the bromine bonded to it. And then after we do that, so remember this is a SN2 reaction. So after we do that, we still got this bromine connected here. And again, those two electrons. I'm not going to show those hydrogens because of course they're implied. And this came from the back side of that, so we'll make it the back BR, okay? So again, here you would actually make both of the enantiomers of this intermediate. So, of course, when you have the BR minus here, and it attacked like that, you would get the enantiomer here of this guy. So, and of course, you don't have to draw both of these. You could just put, put ENT. I'm just drawing this one because at the beginning we showed this one. So, here you 
choose your electrophil electrophilic addition and then, of course, your SN2 reaction. So, are there any questions on that one? No question? Makes sense, though, huh? Total sense.